Morning guys, I found this old interview about 12 years ago with Lisa Marie Presley talking about what she wants to do with her family. It's a philosophy that she's keen to share with her own children. Up and coming singer Benjamin. I just want them to be the best that they can at what they're doing and and keep, you know, keep a, a normalcy in their lives. And it's interesting she says this because this is exactly how Priscilla Presley was when it came to Lisa Marie as a very small child. Daughter Riley got her break starring alongside Kristen Stewart in The Runaways and opposite Orlando Bloom in The Good Doctor. And I find it interesting that Riley Keough wanted to carve out her own way of making a living through modelling and through acting. And I found the film The Good Doctor free on YouTube. So if you want to watch it, just look it up. And I thought it was a really good film, and her acting was excellent. What's wrong with me? Pylonephritis. Can you die from that? Well, if you never took care of it, well, that's what us doctors are here for. I thought you guys just played golf. She started modeling young to make, sort of, you know, make her own money, which I really respected. But I knew ultimately she wanted to move into other things, and when she wanted to be an actress, I took her to see... I said, I want you to watch a real actress. I want you to see someone who's really doing this for the craft, not, not doing it because they're really pretty and really skinny and they live in L.A., but because they're really in there. And I took her to see Monster with Charlize Theron. Cut to, anyway, now she's in Africa shooting with her on Mad Max. I was just like, this is really incredible. Riley Keough actually met her husband, Smith Peterson, whilst filming reshoots of Mad Max. She was in a relationship when she first met him during the original filming, but then started dating later, a year later, on the reshoots. While her eldest are on the fame fast track, the 44-year-old has opted for a gear change after giving birth to the newest additions to her brood, twin girls Harper and Finley, three years ago. So Harper and Finley are 15 now, so it gives you a bit of a time scale of this video clip that I'm posting, this news interview. And it's obviously been done in much happier times. Specifically, a relocation to a $15 million estate in the quiet English countryside. So from my little bit of research that I've done, they moved to England in 2010 for six years um, in a small town called Rotherford in East Sussex. Uh, I did find another clip that said Tunbridge Wells, so I'm not 100% on this. Let's keep watching. I wouldn't raise my my younger ones in Los Angeles solely at this time. I'm making sure they have another, an entirely different scene and stage setting somewhere else. It's not just this celebrity enriched environment. And from what I've read, she literally just got fed up with California. She'd been there for 17 years and hardly spoken to anybody in all the years she had lived there. She just didn't feel this was right. I do think Scientology had part of the reason why she moved to the UK as well, because they had headquarters 15 miles away from where she lived. But even a move across the pond can't distance them from their famous grandfather. They're so proud. They know who he is. And they, you know, I took him to CV of Elvis in, in Las Vegas. Uh, a few months ago, and, and, and Finley's, and both of them were just, she's just so, she gets so excited, and if she hears him, she gets really excited in the car, and they want to dance to him, and they're just thrilled, and, and so it's really cute. I mean, it just, it's really cute. Well, thanks, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a very interesting video to make and put together, and my heart hurts for Lisa Marie Presley and her kids who must be having an extremely difficult time. And she will always be missed, Lisa Marie Presley. She was a one-off.